Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to another edition of Grassroots Motorsports Live presented by CRC Industries. My name is JG Pastor Jack. It is Wednesday night here in beautiful Ormond Beach, Florida. Welcome back to the shop. We were we were doing crazy stuff the last couple weeks, two weeks ago. We, we, we had a great show. Uh, and then the internet died at the end of the show. And there was like four other little 30 second long shows of just us sitting around a computer going, uh, do you see, can you hear? What, what they, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, and that was it. And then last week, we were at Solo Nationals out in Lincoln, Nebraska, and uh, we had no internet. We posted a lot of great videos. Scroll back on our Facebook feed to see those. Go to our YouTube channel to see those as well, and you'll be able to follow along with some of our adventures from Solo Nationals. Here's what we are doing tonight. We are going to build a, a driver cooling system. We are going... It, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's gross. It's gonna be that way in the southeast for another couple of months. You gotta cool yourself off when you're behind the wheel, baby. So we are building a little homebrewed driver cooling system. We are also, later in the show, gonna throw this here Cadillac CTSV. This is our press car this week. We're gonna throw it on the scales for another edition of What's It Way presented by Intercomp, where you can win fabulous prizes by guessing the weight of heavy objects. In this case, the weight of this year, 2019, fully loaded, fully optioned, uh, with carbon fiber package, Cadillac CTSV sedan. Uh, it's got almost a full tank of gas. It has, um, like, if there's eight graduations on the gas gauge, it's just a little past number seven. It's closer to seven than it is to eight. So uh, guess the weight of that closest. Uh, is it, Kenny, is it closest to the pin or closest without going over? What's, what's the rule? Closest without going over. Closest without going over. But if everybody if everybody goes over, it's just it's just closest. So um, so somebody somebody guess one pound and it'll it'll be um, it'll, it'll be fine. So yeah, uh, you will you will be able to uh, post your guesses for that throughout the entire show, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook. And whoever is closest without going over wins fabulous prizes from us and from Intercomp and from CRC. All right, let's talk uh, before we, we get going. Let's do the thing where everybody um, everybody throws a comment down in the, the comment section, especially on Facebook. Kind of get some of that Facebook juju. I don't care what you say. Just match the keyboard with your with your closed fists and hit enter, and that'll let us know you're here. That'll let Facebook know you're here. We'll get some of that uh, that all important Facebook juju. Also, throw us a like, throw us a share if you're watching us over on YouTube over there um please uh please subscribe to our channel and uh and throw us on to you know I, it's stuff i gotta say and also please uh, do not hesitate to check out the people that support this program talking about our friends at crc makers of brake clean including the brake clean pro series here which is just brake clean in a much larger can because what's better than brake clean more more brake clean so you can check this out at major retailers now i saw this at harbor freight the other day uh, check out CRC stuff anywhere you buy automotive chemicals. Check them out on the web at crcindustries.com. Even better, check them out at a store near you. Also, Coney Shocks is back, baby. We're going to be having discount codes for Coney coming up in the next few weeks. But we'd like to welcome Coney back to the program. You can check them out at coney-na.com for all your shock absorber needs. And last but not least, of course, our favorite bookstore in the world, the best bookstore in the world, Autobooks, Aerobooks. You can check them out on the web at autobooks-aerobooks.com. Tens of thousands of books, magazines, DVDs, videos, collectibles, uh, historical artifacts right there in Burbank, California. If you have a chance to visit them in person, I highly recommend you do it. If not, you can see their entire inventory on the web, autobooks-aerobooks.com. We'll be telling you all about those guys uh, and the rest of our patrons later in the show. Let's... Um, take a look at who's here i see some of our regulars here tonight and uh, a lot of folks that we saw at uh at nationals so thank you very much for for saying hi when we were out there um we we, we appreciate everybody that, that did that but let us get to work here on building a driver cooling system so let's let's first ask ask the question why do we need a driver cooling system what does a driver cooling system do well it gets very hot inside a race car when the human body gets hot, your blood vessels dilate, you, you, you have, uh, you know, so blood pools in, in your feet, moves away from your brain, you have a hard time concentrating, you sweat, you, you're, you're, you're losing uh, valuable fluids, and you're, you're, everything just sucks. I, I live in Florida, trust me, when it gets hot, everything sucks. That's really all you need to know. So, keeping a driver cool helps the driver concentrate, 
helps you get out of the car with less fatigue, especially in the case of endurance racing. When you're in the car for an hour or two hours or three hours, I've done, I've done you know, two and three hour stints at some place like the Thunder Hill 25 hours, where you're just in the car for a long time. And even if the ambient temperature is not that hot, you are building up a lot of body heat inside of a racing suit. Nice to keep yourself cool. So what do we do about that? Well, we circulate cold water around the driver. How do we do that? Well, we can very easily go to some place like, uh, like, like Fresh Air Systems. Um, the, these guys right here, you can buy a pre-made system from them. It's gonna cost you three to 400 bucks by the time you kind of get everything together. It's great, one box solution. Plug it in, strap it into your car, put the shirt on, good to go. You can also check out companies like, like Cool Shirt. Uh, again, uh, you know, four to five hundred bucks for some of their stuff, but one box solution, strap it in, power it, put the shirt on, good to go. Or you can do what we're going to do tonight if you're a little bit industrious and, uh, and not, not afraid of getting your hands dirty a little bit. You can build your own. There, there's fairly simple parts involved. There's not a lot of technology involved. And uh, look, if I can make it through this in an hour tonight, anybody else can, can do it. So we're just gonna dig in and get started. First, let's talk about, about the parts we need. There's gonna be a couple of things that, that you're, you're, you're gonna wanna spend the money on. We've put this system together, if it works, for under 200 bucks. You can. Your, your biggest variable in that is gonna be the cooler, the cooler that you're actually putting, putting the ice water in and, um, and using as a reservoir. We spent about 60 bucks on this cooler at Amazon. I like it because it has, it has a locking um, lid, but you can use a cooler without a locking lid and just strap it down. You can get a, a 20, 20 quart cooler, a 16 quart cooler at Walmart for under 20 bucks. So, so you can, shave a lot of money off the, off, off the cost of, of, of the, uh, the, the whole system right there. This is gonna be your, your probably single biggest um, expense right here. This is gonna be your shirt. Um, the reason the shirt is gonna be expensive is because it has these capillaries sewn into the, uh, the, the fabric that your water is gonna circulate through. We got this shirt from Ultra Chiller. Ultra Chiller actually sells a lot of a lot of the, the parts that we're going to show you tonight. You know, I'm, I'm not picking; I'm scratching. Don't worry about it. And uh, this shirt was about a hundred bucks. You can buy shirts from any of the other companies too. Fast, uh, cool, cool shirt. This was one of the, the the more inexpensive options. You can also make your own shirt, although that's that you need need to be a little more industrious for for, for that. Um, it, the, 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 there's a lot of very fine sewing going on there, but it's doable. Or you can, if you're really industrious, you can just, I don't know, like put one in your ear and one up in your butt. I like well, one, one in the snoot, one in the shoot. That's, and just cool yourself manually. So, but I, that I wouldn't recommend either. Um, so, so check out, <laughs> yeah, Andy says we should, uh, we should duct tape clear vinyl tubing to a t-shirt. You can do that too, or just duct tape it right to your chest. That, that, that will work just fine too. I would recommend buying the shirt because the, the um, you, again, you can probably get away with making one, but just spend the hundred bucks and buy it. We did have somebody that, uh, that, that, that has instructions on how to make your own shirt out there. If you, um, we'll throw a link up now, our friends at um, uh, Autosport, not, Autosport Labs, yes, sorry, our friends at Autosport Labs, um, have, uh, sh they make great data acquisition systems, but one of the guys there built his own driver cooling system and built his own shirt as well. We'll throw up a link to his video. You can, you can see how he did it. I already threw it up. Oh, awesome. Katie already threw it up. All right, <laughs> let us just, without any further ado, let's get to work and see if we can finish this baby in less than an hour and then we'll get this cadillac back. remember enter your guesses on the weight of this cadillac back here and um whoever is closest without going over will win all right we'll start with the cooler so here's what we got to do we uh we we got to get a pump to circulate our cold water from from the cooler got to get that mounted in the cooler this is a tsunami pump got it from amazon it was like 15 16 bucks really, really cheap. Let me get my uh, 
glue gun plugged in over here. I'm going to be using hot melt glue to stick a lot of this stuff together. Um, the insides of these coolers are really, really smooth uh, plastic, so a lot of times stuff like silicone will not really, really stick to them very well. Um, Andrew wants to know what, uh, what model of Caddy. That's a 2019 CTSV, fully loaded with the carbon fiber package, 640 good old fashioned American horsepower. Um, and um, I see a lot of people guessing low so far. <laughs> let's, let, let's say that. Okay, in the research I have done, I have learned a couple of things. One of the things I have learned is these pumps in order to work well, because what, what we have to do is we have to take this um, 5 8 output of this pump and we have to neck it down to a quarter inch tube to made up with our our shirt connections here these are all these are all quarter inch quick uh quick dry water fitting so what's going to happen is this pump is going to be pushing out a lot more capacity than we're actually using for it and what could happen is you could get cavitation so we, to prevent that we're going to drill a little relief hole in the body of the pump because we do not want cavitation because we all know what happens when you get cavitation uh then the uh the, the folks on the Red October can hear you. So that's something you, that's best avoided. And we're not, th these, these little 12 volt powered bilge pumps are actually fairly, fairly powerful and, and don't put out a lot of pressure, but put, put out a lot of volume. Um, so taking away some of that capacity by making a relief hole is not, not necessarily a bad thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drill a 1 16th hole uh, right in the pump body right there. And try to not go through our thumb. Or all the way into the inside body of the pump. So we, we've basically just gone through the outside housing of, of the pump to bleed off a little bit of that that pressure uh michael says he used a windshield washer pump yeah any any water pump you can get away with will will work windshield washer pump is not really designed to um to work continuously over over a matter of of you know uh, a, a a many hour track session so something like the, these little bilge pumps are, are designed for you know, a little more constant use. So might be a little bit better option. Okay, next we gotta mount our pump inside of our cooler here. And we're just gonna kinda eyeball it. I'll, I'm gonna be coming straight off of this, um, straight off of this output. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of room, but I'm gonna put the, the pump right about in the middle. See how our hot glue is doing here. So we're just going to hot glue our base right to the bottom of the old cooler in here. <laughs> so somebody mentioned that Ultra Chiller will also sew tubing to a shirt that you send them using Nomex thread for a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's, that's a, uh, that, that's a great idea too. I was, I was not familiar with ultra chiller before we started this project and they have a lot of, uh, a lot of very cool options and they are, they're not an advertiser or anything. I, maybe someday they will be hello. Nice ultra chiller people. But I, uh, I, I enjoyed ordering stuff from them and getting it right away. Okay. Next we got to get the power from the inside of the cooler to the outside of the cooler. And I'm going to um, put our hole up towards the top of the cooler for that. We're gonna seal the hole with a little bit of hot glue, but just all the same, I'm gonna try and keep it up a little bit so we don't get any, uh, any leakage. Let's see if we can get it 
get it through this. This is like a 3 16 And again, we're trying to do this without drilling into our precious hand meat. that hole's a little small, but let's see if we can fish this baby all the way through. Nope. When in doubt, use a bigger drill. Brian wants to know where the hot sauce is. Not this week, baby. I, I just I just got back uh, from a road trip, and um, so that basically means a, a week of just eating, you know, garbage from the side of the highway essentially so we will um we will we will do do we'll do another hot so actually i think we have a uh, i think we have a halloween show coming up maybe maybe the halloween show is a is, is another hot sauce show what do you guys think about that <laughs> Dinesh says drilling through your hands equals lighter hands for faster work. All right, so there is our power connections coming out of there. We are just going to seal. That was probably important. We're going to seal this up with a little bit of hot melt. By the way, if you don't have a hot glue gun in your shop, you have made a huge mistake. It is, it is a fantastic tool, especially if you work with plastics a lot. Um, it, it's not, you know, it's not an aircraft grade seal, but it's a really, really handy tool to have because it's one of the few things that you can actually use to stick stuff to smooth plastics like this. And it's a non-permanent, adhesive and it makes it, it makes for for a great seal too you can you can you can seal up little little holes like this it's um it is a really really handy thing to have around and i highly recommend one plus you can do scrapbooking no katie not michaels pick up a hot glue gun at a harbor freight use your 20 percent off coupon and buy this here is chicago electric hot melt glue gun at your local Harbor Freight. All right, we got power. My hot, my hot glue gun. No, this is a Harbor Freight glue, glue gun. I don't. I would know where I got my own hot glue gun. It's a rowdy crew tonight. Okay. Carl wants to know if this can be used as a bait box. Actually, what I recommend is uh, instead of water, Fill your cooler box with delicious, crisp, refreshing Pepsi Max and run the drink tube right into your helmet as well. So you can have a dual purpose box. You can, uh, you can drink uh, Pepsi Max. It's being infused with your own sweat that leaches through, through your shirt. We have power going into the box. We need to get water out of the box. So we're gonna use um, these here through wall connectors. These connectors I, I got from Ultra Chiller. You can get them at any industrial supply house. You can get them at uh, McMaster Car. You can get them from Granger. Um, they are, they're a little hard to find on Amazon for some reason, but um, I got them from Ultra Chiller. The, the, whole, the whole setup, um, each, each of the connectors was, it was like under, under, under 10 bucks each. We got, we got less than 200 bucks in, in this whole setup and we could easily trim 30 or 40 off it by using a, a cheaper cooler. So you can, you can get a, a fairly nice system built using, using real you know, uh, water connections for 150, 100, 160 bucks. And these things are, are, are pretty slick. They, uh, they're, they're dry connections. They shut themselves off when they're, when they're disconnected. Um, or you, if you go back to uh, Autosport Labs site, they built stuff with 
uh, they're, they're like a, a full Ace hard, hardware setup. Their, their connections are not quite as slick as those, but they, they saved a few bucks even, even over what we did. <laughs> yes, step one everybody, cut a hole in the box. So, so we're gonna, <laughs> Katie just groaned. We're gonna line our, uh, our water connections up. I'm gonna stack the water connections vertically on the side over here because what I want to do is um, I want to use the the mounts for the uh, for the, the the shoulder strap I want to use those as tie down points so I'm going to basically run a strap around the, these sides of the box up up through these so I don't want my strap to go between my water connections I don't really have room for them side by side over here uh, as, as much as I'd like so I'm gonna stack them vertically and that also helps me line them up a little bit better so we can just draw a vertical line right there you need two lines going through the wall of your of your uh, cooler you need basically one coming out and one to, to recirculate going back in so next thing we got to do is we have to drill a couple of holes in uh, in the side of this baby to pass uh, to pass these guys through and I think they are 5 eighths but I'm going to measure to make sure I stop at the right point on the step drill This is something you're only, only going to get one chance at, so I actually do recommend uh, doing some measuring before you before you start doing doing your drilling. And this stuff is also going to gonna drill really really fast and easy you don't necessarily need a step drill for this uh, you can you can do it with a hole saw but this, it's gonna be way easier with a step drill actually everything is way easier with a, with a step drill so what is So Matt says uh, we can use masking tape on the step drill bit to mark the depth so we don't go too far. That's actually a great idea and I'm actually going to do that uh, when I use this step drill bit because it has way more uh, graduations on it. I didn't do it on this one because this, this is like the play school my first step drill bit. It's only got um, a limited number of graduations and I felt like I could get away with it fairly easily. Um, but now we are going to switch to this big scary SOB and drill the inside hole. Is that rain? It is rain. Oh, speaking of rain, uh, we have a lot of a lot of viewers in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, that is like one of our most prolific viewing areas. If you are in the path of, uh, of Hurricane Florence, um, please get the F out of the path of Hurricane Florence. And if you're going to stay, do not be a burden on first responders when they come in to, to help out. And if anybody understands what you guys are about to go through, it is us here in Florida. So uh, bet, best of luck to, to all of you. I, I, I have certainly done done my time in uh, in the bunker when it when it comes to hurricanes, and I, I do not envy what what you guys are about to go through in, in the Carolinas. It is going to be it is going to be exciting, not really exciting in a good you know prom night sort of way. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. Who is this guy? This guy, this guy's like the Bob Vila of cutting coolers up. I uh, didn't quite leave enough room for my little nutly inside there. But our outside hole is perfect, everybody. Open this inside one up a little bit more. That's more like it. So now I'm just threading our little stop nut onto um, So Carl wants to know, is, is Opie sheltered? Uh, Carl, Opie has moved out, man. Opie, Opie now lives... Um, a few miles away, he, he lives he lives down the road. He actually I'm looking for a screwdriver here. You know the story they, they tell kids when their goldfish dies that uh, you know your oh, your fish went to live on a beautiful farm with lots of his goldfish friends. That actually happened to Opie. Opie Opie is the the first creature in in the history of the universe to actually have uh, have that story be true. So he is on a, a very nice farm a few miles down the road where he is looking after a, uh, some horses. They, they, they have a, it's a, Opie, uh, so this is before your time, Katie, but we used to have a donkey that lived next door. And his name was, oh, well, his name still is Opie. And Opie was super cool. And at the end of the shows, back when we used to have shows during the day, we would go over and we would visit Opie. And uh, he would come over and he would get a, get a donkey cookie and say hi to everybody. So Katie's looking at me like, like you, I didn't think, I, I, I didn't know you drank. Um, but yes, we, we used to have a, a friendly, neighborly, next door donkey. <sighs> okay, that's not quite straight, but it's really tight. So I'm not going to mess with it anymore with it any anymore. So that's going to be uh, either our indoor or our outdoor. We'll decide which one in just a few minutes. Uh, where'd my calipers go? Here they are. We're going to kind of eyeball these, put them a couple inches apart. And again, the reason we're stacking them vertically is um, I want a little more, more room side to side because I want to run a strap through this, this hard point that's been, been uh, provided by the cooler manufacturer. So Andrew wants to know if we'll, if we'll be using caulk. Um, uh, not on the show. Hey, no. Uh, the, the problem with any sort of silicone or latex-based sealant on, on this stuff is it doesn't always stick well. You can get marine-grade sealants that, that will stick to this, uh, this cooler, whatever this cooler material is. It's like it's ABS or something. Um, but mo most silicone or... Um, or uh, latex type sealants will not stick to this stuff 
very well. So for all my sealing needs, I'm using hot glue because it, it, if, even if it doesn't bond to, to the surface, it at least solidifies inside whatever you're, you're uh, putting it in. Like I said, you, you can get marine grade sealants that you can, you can stick uh, stuff to this, this material pretty well, but I, I didn't need any j just for this. So it wasn't really worth going out and buying a, uh, a special sealant just, just for this project. So the, the hoses are already stuck to these connections, and the reason for that is um, because it's, it's, it's just easier to thread, the ho thread everything through there with the hose already on there than trying to wiggle the hose on once it's already in there. I see we got some guesses coming in, both on, uh, both on YouTube and on Facebook, for this evening's edition of What's It Weigh, presented by Intercomp. You can guess the weight of this Cadillac CTSV, it's a 2019 CSV, fully loaded with the carbon fiber package and a nearly full tank of gas. It's got um, just a little over seven eighths of a tank of gas in it. Later in the show, we will be lowering it down onto our intercomp scales and whoever guesses uh, closest without going over is gonna win fabulous prizes. Hey, while I'm trying to find the threads, on this other water fitting here. Let me tell you about some of the folks that make this show possible. I'm talking about folks like Auto Books, Aero Books. Uh, do you want to meet famous authors, folks? Do you want to get a look at one of the best selections of books, magazines, DVDs, videos, collectibles anywhere in the country? Check out Auto Books, Aero Books. You can check them out in person in Burbank, California. If you can't make it out to Burbank, check them out on the web at autobooks-aerobooks.com. If you can check them out in person, though, what you're going to find is really one of the coolest bookstores anywhere in the world where my screwdriver go. Um, how did I lose a screwdriver? Oh, it's in here. Every week, they have live events going on at the store. And I'm talking about stuff like author signings. I'm talking about stuff like cruising, cars and coffee type events. So if you have the chance, if you're ever out in Burbank, it is worth the trip to get over there and check them out at Auto Books, Aero Books. Also, I want you to check out our friends at Coney. You can check them out at Coney-NA.com, one of our favorite shock absorber companies. They will be joining us uh, again here with more tech videos and more cool stuff every week. I, I know a lot of you got a chance to sample some of their shocks on the uh, Coney Activate America Tour, and I hope you had a good time doing that. We, we checked out the uh, the tour at brothers performance in uh, the land and it was a heck of a lot of fun also i want you to check out our friends at crc industries oh uh i want to do a demo for you guys um randy guesses uh two million forty one thousand one hundred and sixty six pounds you're actually the closest so far um so when we're let's let's do a little little CRC demo that we we haven't done in a while. And this is one of my favorite demos. I'm going to tell. People ask a lot what the difference is between carb cleaner and uh, fuel injection cleaner. This is CRC carb cleaner. This is CRC mass airflow sensor cleaner. They're both designed to uh, take petroleum-based um, sludge gunk off of different places in in your car. So what's the difference? Well, the big difference is the types of substrate you can, you can use both of them on. I'm going to spray some carb cleaner into this cup. And I'm going to spray some fuel injection cleaner into this cup. These are just plain old polystyrene cups. So the, 
the, the big difference in, in these cleaners is material safety. When you're cleaning a carburetor, you're cleaning, cleaning your fuel injection, you are removing petroleum products um, from a substrate. Unfortunately, in the case of removing, oh, uh, there, there we go, it is, it is dripping already. So the carb cleaner has melted right through the bottom of the cup where uh, the fuel injection cleaner is still stable in the cup. Now, why is that important to you? Well, a lot of modern engines use a lot of plastic in their intake system. So if you are using carb cleaner in a car that's got, yeah, let me check this out. If you're using carb cleaner in a car that has a plastic intake manifold, you could possibly be doing damage to the intake manifold. Whereas if you're, you are using fuel injection cleaner, you are gonna be, be safe with the plastic. That's the difference. So hopefully, you, know, you see it, my towel is sticking to the floor down there. Um, so that's why there are, are two different things. Carb cleaner is great if you're, if you're spraying it on an all brass and all metal carburetor. Uh, if you're spraying it on plastic though, watch out because you could possibly be doing a little bit of damage to those plastic parts in that engine. So next time you are at the store, next time you are buying automotive chemicals, you're buying that CRC stuff, you know what to get. And you know when you're getting that CRC stuff, you know you're getting a good product, uh, number one. But number two, you know you're getting a product from a company that supports this world we live in, this world of amateur and professional motorsports at every level. CRC is a proud supporter of not only this show, but the Grassroots Motorsports $2018 Challenge coming up in October. So we'd like to thank them for being aboard for so many cool things. Okay. So we are still uh, screwing this fitting in. I don't think I've cross-threaded it. I mean, it doesn't mean that I didn't. This is the downside of leaving the, uh, the hose on, on the back. So Vincent wants to know how much I want to sell that carbon wing for in the background. Not for sale, my friend. That carbon wing in the background is actually going on our Project Corvette in just a few days as we prepare for the, uh, the SCCA's first ever, the, uh, the 2018 Time Trial Nationals in uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, coming up in just a few weeks. We are, we are getting the car ready for that. The, the car will, will be running with those RHR aero pieces in place. I'm being thwarted by this dumb little... nut here. Okay, so I haven't actually cross-threaded it. So let me open up the hole inside there just Give myself a little more finger room. By the way, I don't know what y'all had planned tonight, but we're 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 gonna keep going until this thing works. And I didn't say till we're finished. I said till it works. But we're making some progress here now, folks. Pretty soon. It's gonna be like air conditioning. What air conditioning? I don't need air conditioning. I have a home-built driver cooling system. So uh, yeah, our friend, uh, our friend Toto, who was on uh, on the show just a few weeks ago, talking about helmets, uh, also does uh, some driver cooling solutions. There are a lot of great commercial driver cooling solutions out there. But uh, again, you're gonna start. You know, if. If you want to just plop the money down, sometimes that is the superior solution. So uh, Chaz says the uh, mid divs time trial rule book is better than the nationals. Here's here's what I like about about both of those. I love that we're talking about time trials again. 
I, I, I love that it is, it is a thing again that we are all discussing and we are all planning on, on how to do. So I, I am not married to one rule set or another at this point. I am just glad that the, uh, they all exist and we all have the chance to, uh, to participate. So I'm going to do a thing that I said I wasn't going to do. I'm going to take this hose off here because for some reason I cannot get my dumb fingers um, in here to, to thread this connector on. So I'm going to grab a socket that fits, uh, fits this. So Joe, uh, or John Joseph Schick, uh, just guessed 2,900 pounds for the Cadillac. And um, boy, uh, I, I salute you, sir. Because I, I don't, I don't want to give too much away other than to say, no, you're very, very wrong. So I have been utterly thwarted by my complete inability to properly thread this nut onto this plastic connector. It goes fine when it's out here. You know, when this happened to Norm Abrams, he just had a stunt guy that, that came on and did it. And he, he went some, like he went back to his tent and got a massage. And well, Katie's writing very long notes over there. What do you? Are you, are you like bringing me that, that that note now? Jesus. Oh, oh yes, yes. What a uh, great idea. Um, a lot of you folks that are out there watching this right now that we know, we know because of our participation uh, with the Rolex 24 at D Daytona we, that we have a fantastic ticket package that we make available every year to GRM readers. It's called the GRM Experience Package. It sells out uh, this year. It's sold out in like 19 minutes. But fear not, gentle, gentle man or gentle lady out there watching me, because we have another package available now that Daytona has added for us. It's called uh, the Front Straight Seating, Front Stretch Seating Package. You, 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 may, you might know it as the stadium package. I'm not allowed to say that anymore, but it is the front stretch seating package. It's 100 bucks. You, you get pretty much all the same stuff that you do with the GRM Experience package, except instead of getting dinner with the GRM Experience package, you get breakfast with the front stretch package, and you don't get, what? Do you get breakfast? Kitty's waving her arm. I can't, I can't read any of this. There, there, there could be, I, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. See, I told you in the meeting I was, I was going to say stadium, didn't I? Um, with the front, just pretend that I've always called this the front stretch seating package and I've never called it anything else. Anyway, if you want to come to Daytona, you want to hang out with us for a hundred bucks, you can get a killer ticket. It's the front stretch seating package. You get breakfast on Sunday morning in a suite, like in a, a suite up in the, the, uh, the, the front stretch seating area. Um, and there's celebrity guests. You can hang out in the GRM Corral. You can go on our behind the scenes tours. It is a fantastic deal. You get garage access Saturday and Sunday. You get a $10 coupon for, um, for anything around like concessions around the track. It is, if you can't get a GRM experience ticket, which at this point you can't cause they're sold out hundred bucks. That is the hookup. You, you don't get parking inside the track, but we have a, a surprisingly good parking option that is outside the track. It's, 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 it's a little further away, 
But if you've ever been there before, you know that uh, the parking inside the track is is very much at a premium. So we we regret that we could not offer that. But um, that you just have to be quicker next year on the on the GRM experience package. All right, this is stupid because I cannot thread this ridiculous piece of garbage. What's that? No, I need. I'm I'm doing that, Andy. I, I, I need to get a socket in, in there. Um, All right, Katie, come 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 over here and maybe maybe without my big sausage fingers in there. So take that. You know, it, it, it threads onto onto there basically. So get a, get a feel for how it threads on. Easy. All right. So now now we got to do that through here. So let me know when you're when you're in there, and I'll start turning turning this part. Hold on. Hold okay. On. May have gotten it stuck. Okay, less stuck. <laughs> See? See, so so it isn't just my 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 big uh, Johnsonville bratwurst fingers. That, yeah, that... but I've got my hair in my face. <laughs> this is prepared to be on camera. Where's my makeup crew? Oh, oh that feels right. Got it? Oh look at that. Maybe it's not tightening anymore. No, no, it 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 it's, it goes for a while before it. Okay, let me, let me let me take a look at it. Once you get it started, I can I can get it the rest of the way. Well, I did get it started. I did. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> You're amazing. Score one for petite young people fingers, everybody. This is, yeah, I mean, I don't want this to turn into the Jerry Lewis telethon where it's, it's 3 a.m. and I got, you know, I got my bow tie undone and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pulling, uh, pulling rip porn out of a, out of a dumpster behind, behind the sands or something, but, okay, there we go. So now we can, uh, we can reconnect. <laughs> yeah. Toto said I got schooled by a girl. No, no, I, 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 uh, I made the most of of my human resources I'm gonna heat the end of this hose up a little bit so it slides over that nipple a little bit easier. Yeah, see, this is this this is my dream. This is my nightmare. This th this is this is the two hour. Somebody mentioned the uh, the two hour bolt on uh, on every project, and this is definitely definitely the two hour bolt of of this project. I'm about to break out the damn welder is what, is what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what? I could probably, I could probably lubricate this a little bit. Let me grab some, uh, some soap. I'll be right back. Closing the bathroom door. All right, we are just going to put a little tiny ugh, bit of liquid soap on the nipple. Let's 
see, this is why I went to college. It's not why I finished college, but it's at least why I started. I'm, I'm 15 seconds away from just saying, hey, that's my return line. But I'm going to, if you know, if I'm suffering with this, I will make you suffer right alongside me. Because I love you. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, whoever it was initially that actually put this these hoses on these uh, these nipples. And somebody wants to know how many time uh, how many times I've said nipple so far. I think I think we're up to sixty or seventy at least. All right, guess what? That's our return line, everybody. We'll 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 deal with that later. That that is now officially become. Our, our return line. You want to try it, Katie? <laughs> see, tell you what, see what you can do. I will, uh, I will pimp the, uh, I will, I will pimp uh, our, our what's it? I'm trying to get that hose onto that nipple right there. God damn it! If you slide it right on there, I'm you're fired. <laughs> Ow. I know, right? I think I just cut myself. Uh, hey, everybody. Sitting behind me is a 2019 Cadillac CTSV. It is our press car this week. It is fully loaded with the carbon fiber package. It has a little over seven eighths of a tank of gas. If you guess what it weighs, if you come closest without going over, we're gonna you can use either side. We're gonna drop it down on our intercomp scales here in just a few minutes for another edition of What's It Weigh, presented by Intercomp. If you are the closest without going over, you, sir or madam, will win fabulous prizes. Um, oh my god, we got, um, Darius is, uh, yeah, Darius is guessing in the 4600s. That's, that's pretty aggressive. Um, somebody was guessing five something. Somebody was guessing five something. That's, that's fairly aggressive. Uh, Darius wants to know what's the toughest weather we've ever faced. I lived in Florida my whole life, so, uh, I, I've been through a couple dozen hurricanes. I think probably the, 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 the worst one that I've actually been here on the ground for was the category two we actually last year at, at this time we were going through a hurricane uh what uh i not irene uh what was, what was the name inez what was that stupid hurricane last irma. year irma irma hurricane sure irma worst old lady name. yeah uh was, was was last year we try and go live immediately after the hurricanes let everybody know we're um we're, we're alive and show everybody some of the prep that we do you know as as hurricane veterans to get get get, get ready for them but it still sucks every year. Uh, how's, how's it coming over there, champ? Right, right, see? See, it's not, see. <laughs> now you're getting, you're probably getting texts from your mom like, bail out, bail out of the show. <laughs> this, is, this isn't why I sent you to clown college. <laughs> I'm sorry, theater school? <laughs> yeah, th oh, sorry, theater school. Um, okay, let's just, let's just make that the return because we're almost done. We're oh, so close anyway. to being done. I know, right? All right, let's dump all the crap out of here. So that, that, that'll be our return. We do have to get from, uh, from the pump to our output. Um, so let me find my uh, little piece of... three-quarter hose here. 
these pumps do not put out a, a huge amount of pressure, but you, you still, What are you looking for? No, no, this one's done. So, this is just going to get, yeah, see, that's a nice tight fit. All right, Chris, get a shot of that. Look at that, baby. There's our output on our hose right there. That, that's working for you. So now we just got to hook our, uh, our output line to our pump. Leave ourselves a little bit of an extra loop in there. And see, that's actually a quarter inch hose going on a quarter inch nipple. So it works really good, but I am gonna Move it up a bit so we get fully onto our output nipple. So let's not forget, if you try this at home, it'll be much easier because you're probably smarter than me. So we've got output coming out of the top input going in to the bottom. We, uh, we need to wire this thing up and we are pretty much good to go. And then we will drop our Cadillac down onto our intercomp scales for another edition of What's It Way presented by Intercomp. <laughs> yeah, everybody basically decided that uh, that that was that one we couldn't get the hose on was the return hose, right about the same time. So, great minds think alike, everybody. So here's how we're doing our wiring. Drill bits out of the way. Got uh, got some of these here little connectors. Where is my? Here it is. This is going to be our connector going to the car. It's just a 12 volt adapter. Um, here, okay. 12 volt adapter. I've already wired it with these little little two pin connectors that uh, plug plug right in. And I've, I've just been informed we're at an hour, but we're going to finish, baby. We're, we're going to we're going to we're going to make this thing work. If it's the last thing I do on the face of the earth, because we are so close. I'm going to use, I've never used these before, which is great to do on live TV, but these are some little solderless shrink wrap connectors that I got. They, they showed up in my Facebook feed and supposedly it's a, uh, it's a low temperature melt solder plug in there surrounded by, by shrink wrap that you can use for electrical connection. So I'm going to try some of these out. If they don't work, we'll just solder it and, 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 and heat shrink it. But... This was just an impulse buy. I was like wigged out on Ambien one night, and these came up in my Facebook feed, and um, I just I was like, hey, what you know, what's what's the worst that can happen? Is uh, is I'm out I'm out thirty bucks or so. Uh, so how are we gonna do? Let's put a let's put a little lineman splice on these, and then we'll see how well these late night impulse purchase heat shrink connectors work. So the theory is you're supposed to be able to put these on a connection and with your heat gun, shrink it up and that will be enough to melt the solder and solidify the connection. Yeah, I, I blew 25 bucks on this, didn't I? There we 
Oh, look at that. Oh, my God, it actually worked. Wow. I think I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. It's something I, uh, I, I bought late at night for no other reason than it looked cool when it came across my feed actually worked. So Vincent wants to know if it melts at that low of a temperature, what will it do under a load of power? That's th 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 these are not questions we need to worry about right now, Vincent. I'm sure it's fine. I'm putting a high quality twisty splice on, on these two. Um, you, you know, look, I was, I was excited. I, uh, I bought some stuff in the, in, the, in the middle of the night. It actually appears to work kind of the way they described it to me. So let, let me have my moment, Vincent. Let me have my moment. I'm, I'm sure it's very special solder that once, once it melts once, it can never melt again. I'm sure, I mean, this, look, this stuff came in an envelope from a country that I had never even heard of before. I mean, it, look, I, I got this whole assortment. I mean, this was like, I think this was like 400 bucks, you know, but it, 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 it seems like a good deal. Now, it was, it was, like, it was like 25 bucks. It took, it took several, several months, months to get, but it, uh, it happened. Okay, so now we've got, Toto wants to know what country it was. It was, uh, it, it was just symbols. It, it was, it was not, you know, it, it was a, 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 a country, yeah, it was like wingdings. It was their, their, <laughs> I, I think their, I think their flag was just a stick. You know, there was no. So theoretically, we should be able to plug this into a 12 volt adapter in the car, and this should all work as intended. And I think we are ready to uh, to just about give this thing a test. So let us do that. Let me get some, let me get some power over here. So these would be uh, used to make extensions for for the shirt to go from from your shirt to the uh, cooler, which is mounted in the car. You pretty much know how how, how that's going to work. So we'll just um, we'll just plug everything in and see if it works now. And put some water in here. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys! I mean, it only took us, you know, an hour to complete this incredibly simple project, but. Think of the money we saved. So that whooshing sound you hear is me filling this cooler with some, um, Pure mountain water from the, the streams of Florida. I think that's enough for a test run. All right, Katie, what are they saying? What's the over under on this thing actually working? <laughs> I 
All right, you guys excited? I'm excited. Oh. Chris, you have eye protection on over there? You good? All right. We have pump motion. Let's plug our shirt in. You ready? You excited, Katie? No, I think it's going to explode. No, it's not going to explode. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Water is flowing. <gasps> going both ways, coming through the return. Just imagine, just imagine if that was pure, cool mountain spring water flowing over your torso, cooling you from a, from a, from a sticky, sweaty summer day at maybe Carolina Motorsports Park or Road Atlanta in August. Just imagine this cool, clear, chilled water flowing over your body. And even better, uh, Jeremy wants to know how much. That's the best news, my friend. We have uh, well under 200 American dollars in this entire project. Just to, just, just to recap some of the numbers, our, our biggest single costs were the, the, uh, the shirt. Got the shirt from Ultra Chiller, it was about 100 bucks. And now it's covered with uh, crap. So the shirt uh, came from Ultra Chillers, about about a hundred bucks. And buy a shirt uh, a size smaller than you need. Actually, I bought an XL. It's actually a little big on me, if you can believe that. So so you want this shirt to fit tight. You want you want your core to be as 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 uh, as close as possible to those those cool lines. The pump uh, about sixteen dollars on Amazon. We threw a link for uh, up for that earlier. Um, the uh, the wiring was less than ten dollars. It was a couple of couple of connectors, a couple of a couple of twelve volt adapters. Uh, the cooler is going to be your biggest variable expense. We spent about sixty bucks on the cooler. You can get these coolers. F you, you can go to Walmart and get a sixteen quart cooler uh, and just strap strap the lid shut for under twenty bucks. And the fittings we also got from Ultra Chiller. They will they will sell you all the. Um, the quick connect fittings you need. You can also go to McMaster Car or Granger for for these fittings. About ten bucks um, each for these uh, these fittings, and they also have a have a great video on, on how they put it together. Um, so yeah, well under two hundred bucks for this. You could actually go even a little bit uh, more more budget friendly and do one for about one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty bucks. And what's what's it worth to you? If you don't, you know, stroke out at turn seven at Road Atlanta because you, your your body temperature has exceeded some some arbitrary number, and uh, and and you're dead. Um, Jeremy wants to know: Can you sew tu tubing into a shirt? Yes, you can. Uh, although I look, I had a hard enough time getting a piece of tubing onto a nipple today, so I'm not going to sew. Sewing tubing to a shirt would basically be like sewing the shirt to my head. I, it would it would it would not happen. It would not be pretty. Let's weigh a car, everybody. We did this. We, we did this good enough uh, that I'm, I'm satisfied. If you're not satisfied, that's on you, my friend. So let's weigh this car. Last chance for guesses. We are going to drop this Cadillac CTSV down on our intercomp wireless scales. Let me get these babies turned on. And we will enjoy another edition of What's It Way presented by Intercomp, everybody. Here is our Intercomp Quickway wireless scale display. We will get it zeroed. We are zeroed. Is everybody ready? I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's go back and... And we'll even go back and stand by the intercom sign. Ladies and gentlemen, Intercomp presents this segment. This is What's It Way presented by Intercomp. Every two weeks on the show, we weigh a heavy object. We let you guess how much it weighs. Closest without going over is going to win some fabulous prizes. If you, if you are the winner, we'll, we will announce the winner in both the chats on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we'll send you a direct message and we'll get, uh, get some info. Here we go, everybody. Last call for guesses. Katie, are you ready? Is, are, are, is everybody's guesses in? Here we go. The Cadillac has been lowered onto the scale pads. I have a reading. We are about to reveal the number. Ladies and gentlemen, this 2019 Cadillac CTSV with the carbon fiber package, with a little over seven eighths of a tank of gas 
and my garage door opener sitting inside it weighs 4,000. 100. So Mark Manuel, who guessed 53.95, sir, you are out already. My goodness. Uh, Brian, you're very close. 4,177 pounds. John Faring. John Faring, ladies and gentlemen, our friend John Faring, Firebird driver from the Midwest, just saw them at Nationals, came within three pounds of the mark. So John Faring, uh, we will send you a direct message on Facebook here very shortly and we'll get some address information and you, sir, and your lovely wife, Rhonda, have a fabulous prize package awaiting you in just a couple of days. Alrighty, folks, that is the show. So yeah, we, a lot of a lot of folks were uh, a lot of folks were, were close there. We, we we did have yeah, Brandon Brandon Woods guessed fifty three hundred. Uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's a big girl, but it ain't, it ain't that big. Yeah, a lot of forty two hundreds. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty close. It's a it's a cool car, six hundred and forty horsepower. I'll have a little report on it in the magazine very shortly. Let me. Uh, let me check YouTube over there, see if I missed anything. Um, and Lee wants to know if we're doing a homemade whiskey still tonight. Uh, nope, making a driver cooling system. You can scroll back. Uh, look, we, we spent an hour doing a 20 minute project, but uh, it, we, we got thwarted by the, by, by the two hour bolt and the, the, the two hour hose connection. But damn it, it works. And I, I, I am no less proud, thanks to Katie and her tiny, tiny dexterous fingers for helping us out tonight. Thanks to uh, Chris for running the camera as always. Folks, next week, big show next week, we're going to have the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University right here in Daytona Beach. They will be bringing their Formula SAE car out to show everybody. I've seen it at local autocrosses. It is extremely cool. We'll be talking about the SAE program. We'll be talking about their car. We'll be talking about the, the pipeline from basic education into the motorsports world because it is it is a fascinating subject and uh we, anytime i get a chance to talk about education and, and talk about how we can we can leverage education to make the motorsports world better that is that is a good night indeed um with that yeah thanks uh, thanks vincent thanks um thanks thanks carl matt wants to know if john wins the cadillac uh, yeah, you know, for uh, about one hundred and four thousand dollars, he can he can have he can have the Cadillac, and um, I, I don't think they would they would let us sell a car from the press fleet, but we'd have a hundred grand, and they would have to we could run a long way before Cadillac could catch us, folks. That is it tonight. If you are in the Carolinas, if you are in Virginia, if you are in Georgia, please 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 be safe over the next few days. It could get very very gnarly there. I hope you have gotten to a safe place or if you're if you're planning on on staying in place please do not be a burden to first responders when your area starts to recover remember what we say every time it's hurricane season evacuation is not about surviving the storm although in this case it might be but evacuation is about surviving the aftermath so if you are going to stick around you it is incumbent upon you to not be a burden on those first responders, on those recovery crews, as they try and get your area back into shape. So, so good luck to everybody who is about to go through um, some some uh, pretty ferocious nature over the next few days. We, we we wish you the best of luck. All right, gang. Thank you very much. I'm JG Pastor Jack. We will see you once again next Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, on all your grassroots motorsports outlets. Thanks again to Katie. Our director, thanks to Chris, our camera operator, thanks to the entire staff of Grassroots Motorsports Magazine for uh, supporting this show and for being great people. We will see you again next week. Good night, everybody.